Okay, so draw the Lewis structure for S2, F2. Um, and uh, what is the oxidation number for sulfur in each of these compounds? So, uh, just actually, we've got a bunch of sulfur fluorines, so sulfur has five valence. And fluorine has seven valence. And so, um, but for the larger compounds, uh, sulfur, um, so sulfur has not five valence, six valence, sorry. But as it's located below oxygen on the table, um, we can uh, become. Uh, we can expand the octet on sulfur, which always means a, a trade of, of two electrons to make two bonding electrons. So we can draw this as uh, with a single lone pair or with um, six, six dots. So either four uh, unoccupied or four um, unpaired electrons and two and one paired, or one set of paired, I should say, or six unpaired electrons. So um, now going back to the question here. So for um, S two F two, then we've got fluorine. Okay, so here's our, and then we can just connect each of these up. So that looks good. We don't need to expand uh, the octet on sulfur here. Uh, and then to get the oxidation state on sulfur, so for halogens, we always just assume it's minus one. And then these guys should just split the difference. So because it's a neutral molecule, it should add up to zero. And so, um, two times our uh, charge on sulfur, um, minus two should be zero. So that means that our charge on sulfur is just plus one. Right, so if you add these all up, it adds up to zero. Uh, so then for SF2, Okay, that looks good again. Assume minus one charge on both of these. So to get it to add up to zero, we have plus two on the sulfur. Um, for SF4, we'd have S. Now we have, um, to use the case where Uh, where we've expanded our octet on sulfur, and so we need all four, and then we have a lone pair still. <coughs> Excuse me. So now these are all connect up. And so we still have a lone pair on sulfur here. And so, uh, just to draw this more clearly, Similar to this, okay, and then each one of these guys are going to be minus one charge, so the oxidation state here on sulfur is going to be plus four to make the whole thing neutral. And uh, for SF6, We've now uh, 
Got to have the full expanded octet on sulfur. So just decorating around. Connecting these all up. Okay, so assuming that each one of these are minus one. And sulfur in the middle here is gonna be plus six. And then for S2F10, so now we've got Five fluorines, uh, oh, way too many dots. Five fluorines around um, each sulfur. Um, so I can do this. <laughs> Okay, so these should be connected. And dude, dude, Okay, so this guy's gotta get his fluorines. Okay. These guys connected. There, something, something like this. Um, right now, again, we have each fluorine having a minus one charge. And then the sulfur is going to share it. So two times the charge on the sulfur. Minus 10 equals zero, so the charge of the sulfur is equal to plus five. Okay, so we have uh, <clears throat> so now if we go through um, from top down, there's our uh, FSSF guy or S2F2. <coughs> Sorry, uh, where our oxidation state on our sulfur is here is plus one. So that looks, oops, that looks good. Um, SF2, it's going to be plus two. SF4, it's going to be plus four. Uh, SF6 is plus six. Um, and then S two F ten. It's actually going to be plus five. Uh, so everything I'd say is good up to the S two F ten, but I'd say largely it's correct. Um, S two F ten S uh, oxidation state. Is uh, plus five, not plus six. Okay, 